I'm gonna make a video here <clears throat> right now on um, something that's been in Windows since Windows. Uh, it's called Windows Activation or Registration. You have to have two parts to this, by the way. But activating Windows has agitated or um, screwed around with people for many years. With Windows 1000, you'd go out and you'd buy Windows 2000 or get it from a friend or somebody, and they'd give you a, what a 25-digit pass key with it. Um, with that, you'd plug that in to validate you didn't go download it offline or something, just to make your copy legitimate. It would register that you activated on such and such date in Microsoft Server, and there was no limit as long as you had the key. With Windows XP, you bought the copy. It came with a uh, key in it, like the activation key. I think it's I think it's still 25 digits in XP. And uh, you plug that in when you installed it. If you didn't have it, it wouldn't let you install it. And you only had 30 days to use Windows, but it wouldn't let you in unless you bought another key or entered a key. Every time you activated it, it would go and put that in Microsoft servers. Then if you tried to do it too many times, it let you. And you had to go buy XP again for another key. I don't think that's right. That's me. All editions of, of uh, XP have this. You can get around it. It's legal. Don't do it. I don't do it. So I don't think that's right. In Vista, it's the same thing. I think you can only activate it, what, like two, two or five? If you know, please comment. I don't know. Uh, two or five, ten times? I, I don't I have no idea. Ultimate, if you buy Ultimate, that might be unlimited. I, I really don't know. But that's why I say please comment. I mean, no, I get no comment, so please do. But um, when there's activation, so it, it's been a pain. I mean, you... If you're like me and you have to reinstall Windows every, you know, month or so because you screw it up somehow or it crashes like this tends to do, or something like that, then you're, you're probably going to want to go buy an a um, OEM key. Like if you buy a computer, I bought my computer and had Vista Home Premium on. On the bottom there's a sticker that says well, Windows Vista Home Premium and it gives me a key. I don't know how many key, how many times that key works, but it should work a lot. Uh, look on the bottom of your PC. It probably says design for Windows 2000, 98, 95, XP, Vista, wh whatever edition. And that'll have a key. That should work. OEM. Original from original, what? OEM. Or original manufacturers. Something like that. So, um, it's, it's really been a pain in the unit what to activate. You've got to go um, start computer, my computer, right hand click properties to open this. Then at the bottom it'll say Windows activation. Windows is activated. I already activated. If you install it and you don't activate it, you gotta click change product key and then enter in the key here. I don't know, blah blah blah. Then click next. And uh, if it doesn't activate it, call them. Tell them what problem you're experiencing, don't lie to them. And um, and maybe they maybe they'll help you activate it. I, I found them to be pretty helpful actually in activating Windows. In Windows 7, I don't know what they're going to do activation-wise. If you know, please comment, send me, a link, send me an email, drop me a line somehow. Um, I'd really like to know. If you if you have problems activating window, Windows, um, leave a comment. I'll help you out. If Microsoft can't help you, help you out. So uh, thanks for watching, and um, don't hesitate to comment, subscribe, send me an email. And so uh, thanks again.